funny how you eat grapes. <laughs> I am funny? No, I was just recording you. <laughs> <laughs> they're frozen. So you eat them differently when they're frozen. <laughs> You're just staring. I'm waiting for you to get the camera settings going. How should I know you're recording? <laughs> I don't even want to look at that clip. Was I like dazed too? Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, so we're back. <laughs> and now we're starting really rusty because of you. They didn't give me my cue. Oh jeez. Alright, so. But my grapes. <laughs> um. We're going to do an obsessions video. I told you guys on Instagram I was going to do it and I just kind of lost track of time and... Yeah, you just told me today that it's been three weeks. Yep. It's been a while. You guys miss us? <laughs> We're still alive. We're still alive. <laughs> um, okay, so in the kitchen, this is your fault that I'm now like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. In the kitchen, I want to show you guys, um, so I, I, I think I've mentioned that I like drinking sparkling water. Um, just, you know, it's like a treat for us. Like, Lila thinks it's like pop or something. <laughs> She's never had pop in her life. But she loves sparkling water. Well, she anyways, had it once, a Chuck E. Cheese. What, pop? Yeah. She didn't care for it. But she asked for it next, last time we went. Because of the cup. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, I got her, like, cups and stuff, but not the actual contents of it. Um, anyways. I found these two, at first I saw it on Amazon, but then a lot of people said they ordered it and it had like gotten weird because I don't know if it was like sitting in the sun or something and because they use real fruit, it like got oh, nasty. Shipping part. Uh, I don't know. So I sent them to Target to get me some. I really wanted the pineapple. I have not gotten my hands on the pineapple, but um, they have actual real fruit in them. And this one has tea and real lime. And this one has mango. You even get like pulp from the fruit because it's like squeezed. Um, calories are like 10, 5. I was looking for something that had a little more calories, like 30, 40. Uh, I can't find anything like in between there because then they start adding like alcohol sugar. And I'm like, no, I'd rather just have the real thing. I don't want the alcohol sugar. Trader Joe's supposedly has right now, currently, four flavors. We don't have a Trader Joe's by it, so that hurts me a little bit. Like, I, I guess they're like 60 to 80 calories and they're like fresh squeezed in bubbly water. Have you tried it? Oh, I'm gonna send you to Trader Joe's. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna send you to Trader Joe's because I really wanna try them. Um, but yeah, during summer, it's a nice way to cool down and then get a little bit of flavor and some calories because when you're outside in the heat, you lose your appetite. Um, and then you don't drink or, or eat anything, and it's a nice way to kind of bump up your calories. <laughs> Remind me, what else was I supposed to show? The thing you have there that we... Oh, these containers! Oh my god, so I have a big one too. Um, they're amazing. They are meant to keep your produce uh, fresher longer, and it does work. I have a big one. It just came there. out. It's like huge. Anyways, I use it for kale, because I was juicing. And my kale would get bad within like two days it would start to get like mushy. It wasn't crisp anymore and then by the third day it's like, this looks nasty. Yeah, I'm juicing that, <laughs> you know? Um, so I, I put it in that container and it lasted over a week and I was like, holy shit, my kale is crisp every single time. Um, this one, they're, I, like I said, they were frozen grapes. You guys saw me eating them awkwardly in a daze. Uh, frozen grapes. And then we even put like already cut produce, so because he was getting ready to cook. Uh, like I'll put my halves of onions and tomatoes and whatever. So it has a little bottom part. Yeah, because I used to just kind of put them in there because I'm like, whatever, we're gonna probably eat it again at night or the next day. But it gets bad pretty fast if you've noticed. Like it gets mushy and this prevents it from getting mushy. I should have bought more before I told you guys. I'm gonna buy more right after I'm done yeah. recording this video. Um, just to make sure I We got two one. just to test it out to see. Two small ones, but we had the big one for a couple of years now mm -hmm. and for the kale, and it always worked out really well. Um, there was something else. Ooh, tea. But I don't have, I put it over there. Uh, don't show them what's in here. It's a mess. Uh, too late. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Tiavana? Yeah. Tiavana or Tiavana? Tiavana. Right? Peach Tranquility and this beach one. Super good. Super good. And let me tell you why it's good. It, like, if you look at the herbs, 
it has like actual chunks of fruit in there. And like, oh my God. Do you smell that? So freaking good. It is amazing. Um, I usually will drink tea alone and this does have really good flavor, but I like to add honey for the benefits and I'm in love with this honey. I cannot link it. A client of mine sent it from Germany. I am so sad when I run out of this. I'm like about halfway done. It's amazing. I'll show them just in case. Whoever's watching this one somewhere else. Who's from Germany that can pick some up? Oh my god, I love it. Um, my family had a lot of like honey like this from like local people that we knew and whatnot. And that's from Target. This is from Target, but I think you can get it anywhere, even on Amazon. I don't think Jewel has it. Jewel doesn't have it? So good, guys. And I'm a tea fan, so I will tell oh. you the truth. Like, I've had so many teas. That little thing that says and tea is full of teas. And um, this doesn't not has nothing to do with the whole skinny teas and anything else like that. Oh no, not at all. It's just We're not another getting way to either. hydrate because sometimes I get really tired of just plain water, and I know I need to hydrate. So like other ways you can hydrate is tea, um, and those waters I just told you guys about. <laughs> and so, I guess like fruit juices. So we're not like sponsoring squeeze. like lose weight or anything else like no, that. No, not at all. It's just I, I enjoy it. And, and tea does have good health benefits. So like if you drink it regularly, if you drink it once in a while, it's probably not going to do anything. But you know, people who drink it regularly do get the benefits of the herbs in it. Anyways, I think we're done with the kitchen. Maybe we can move a little faster if you don't distract me. Let me put my grapes down here. Uh, oh my god, I need This is a quarantine fridge. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally hold it and close it really quick. We did. <laughs> Should I have my phone? No, I don't. We're going. We're going. We're done, right? In yeah. Here? Okay. Thing. There's one more thing. There was one more thing. Okay. I just looked outside, which reminded me. Do you see my nice oasis? Oh, it's falling apart. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is my little tanning area. It's private so that I can do it in the nude. <laughs> I don't want tan lines, so I set that up and no one can see me except the planes that fly above me and the birds. <laughs> Anyways, um, these little headphones, oh my god, they're little Bluetooth headphones. I don't know if you see that little thing beeping, but the minute you open it, it speaks to you. What does it say? I'm it's connecting or already connected. Already connected. As soon as you something. open it, it connects right away. Yeah, so like my phone will be playing music and then it directly goes to these. And I like it because when I was standing before with headphones, I had to like put them under like my neck and put them in, but even then, like I could see the wire. Like, I'm like, what if it's like casting a shadow on my face. So you have to be like uh, moving it constantly. Yeah, constantly. And then it would just fall out. And these don't fall out, which I thought they were going to be too big, but they sit perfectly. And the nice. sound is really nice. It is really nice. It's not very loud, but it's very clear and like not annoying. You know where sometimes you get headphones where it's like, it's loud, but it's fucking annoying. Um, these don't do that. So for that reason, I love it. I got it as a Mother's Day gift for his mom too, because well, she uses them a lot, right? Yeah. So like headphones, and, and I really, really do like them. I think I'm gonna buy another set because, yeah, I don't know, I just want my own. This is his technically, and I keep stealing it from him because I'm like, well, it, well, it works once great you for go Audible, for the audio, thing. audio book, yeah, the books to hear books. Oh yeah, we have a lot of audio books from like Amazon, and I guess he uses it for that, and I use it for tanning and listening. Uh, to music anyway, so that's the thing. I do love it and it's it was inexpensive There were companies that were trying to get me to sign with them to do uh, Headphones like this, but like for like $300 These I believe are $40 uh, That they were cheaper. No, which ones this ones? No 40 well, well 36, but mm -hmm. when you check out it's 40 comes yeah. up to 40 um so, but yeah. yeah, they were trying to, I was like, these work amazing. I mean, what else could you, maybe, maybe they could be a little louder, but like the clarity mm -hmm. is perfect. I like it. It's and enough. I love that we can like be listening to a podcast while taking a walk and we can each have one. I, I mean, I don't like having two in if we're walking and especially if I have Lila because I want to hear what's going on and so does he. But if we each have one in, we hear it perfect. Like the person is right by us talking to us. So we can be listening to a podcast, talking to each other about it. 
and we're using one set of headphones. So I like it for that reason too. So I almost forgot to mention that. I love that, the whole sharing feature and being able to like literally be outside and listen to the same thing. And I had it, like I was walking around the house and the phone was somewhere else. And oh, really? it still worked, yeah. How far did you go? All around the house. All around the house? Yeah. Where did you leave the phone? Like in the living room. Oh. And I went upstairs. I didn't test that. Yeah. That's cool. We should test it and see if you can go upstairs. Yeah. Probably works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, moving on. For, for sure now. For sure. Oh, I have to leave it. I'm like, bye, babe. <laughs> I gotta leave it for you. No, no, back in there. Back in there. Oh my god, this is your fault still? <laughs> for um, doing the whole grape thing. Alright, I almost forgot. Okay, these cups, they are amazing. Uh, one, they look nice. They feel nice. Two, they're completely composable. So even the lid is. So if you're very um, about taking care of Earth, you want these. They're they're amazing because one, like if I if I want to make someone a coffee, I feel bad if they're kind of on the run and we're like just chit chatting. You can make it for them and they can take it with them. Or like hubby can go because currently I'm leaving the house, <laughs> quarantine and all. Um, when he goes. If he doesn't want to take like a big old cup, he could just take this and he doesn't have to feel bad if he doesn't bring it back home. Um, he can just toss it and know that it's composable. But they're amazing. You can reuse them, if, but if you want to reuse them, you have to clean them out like right away. Don't let them sit, especially if they have coffee still in them, because then by the next day, at the top, the lid doesn't go on right anymore. So you need to uh, rinse them really quickly and let them dry and then you can keep using them over and over again um, so for that reason I do like them I bought them quite a while ago it was a big case of it but it's lasted us that long because like I said I won't use them unless we're leaving the house like when I used to leave the house when that was the thing <laughs> you need to take me out of this house <laughs> I haven't left the house he only leaves and me and Lila have been home for ever and we started quarantine Two weeks before quarantine started, not intentionally. Did we tell them that? No, yeah. I think we told Melissa that. I didn't tell them that. Yeah, I started early, but that was simply because I was so busy and I was like, can you do all the errands that require leaving the house? Because every time we leave the house, we waste so many hours. I'm like, I can't do it. So for like two weeks before quarantine. So could you just imagine how it feel? Anyways, now I think, let me just check my, I'm just, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think I'm done. Oh, my shoes. Amazing. Um, they have taken the place of another pair of shoes. If you guys have seen, I wear slippers a lot. Um, the other ones I had had, like, a heart. But they were cheap. I got it from, like, Meyer for, like, four bucks or something. And I fell in love with them. But they had no cushion, no support. And you guys know, those of you that have been following me for a while, I have, like, a foot problem with one of my feet. Like, it hurts like between my third, this toe, like the nerves hurt if I walk on like wood floors for too long or a hard surface for too long. So I kind of have to always be wearing something. These are not just glamorous and cute, but they are super comfortable. So I'm gonna link them for you guys. I even bought his mom for Mother's Day um, a pair. Of, she likes between the toe stuff, so they're like this, but between the toe, like a flip flop. Is it called a flip flop? Yeah. Like the wedgie one, <laughs> um, but they do also have that comfort on the bottom. She loves them. She's so nervous. we're just gonna link everything we can. We're, yeah, I'm gonna link everything I can. If I can't, I'll let you know where I got it from. But I think everything is linkable. I think now I'm going upstairs. <laughs> okay, so down here actually, I was I said upstairs, but then I saw these. I really wanted to show these uh, socks. I'm so random. I, I, I love socks. Anyways, for toddlers, my daughter specifically, look at these socks. The bottom of them have so many of the grips. Can they see it? Probably not. Let me mm -hmm. move it around. Yeah. Okay. Shit ton of grips. And they actually work really well. She can run around these wood floors and not fall over and bust her shit. Um, another thing is they're no show. I love this. My fault because I dress her, you know? And he always makes fun of her. So I'm like, I don't know. Okay, I'll buy her no show socks because her socks will like show out of her shoe in a weird kind of way. Uh, for some shoes, at least. Anyways, 
I didn't think I was gonna find her some no-show socks that were like really good and then you don't have to worry about when she takes her shoes off is she gonna like slip and fall especially if you go to, to like someone's house when that happened because that doesn't happen <laughs> I'm just so bitter Quarantine. <laughs> Like, I don't do anything anymore. But if you go to somebody's house and she wants to take her shoes off, she doesn't have to take her socks off because she has the grips. Uh, and not to mention, they're freaking adorable. Like, oh my God, they're so cute. I love it. She's already used a couple pairs. Um, and since I'm on the topic, and I, yes, I keep my socks down here because because we're always like looking for socks. I don't want to go upstairs. Because you forget everything? Socks. Yes, I always come down here then I run back upstairs for something. Anyways, I love these for no-show socks. They do have the little grips in the back to keep your shoes on. I wear a lot of like, what are they called? Like tennis shoes, tennis shoes. during summer? Mm -hmm. But they're like low-cut tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. Like uh, more, not like, I don't know. No, I don't, we don't know. You'd probably see me wear them. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I used to not wear socks because I hated the look, but they would only last for that summer. <laughs> yeah, they were stinky. So um, I wanted low cut socks for that. And then workout socks. These are also really good. I'm just gonna link them because I always find like the cheapest ones and they're comfortable. These are supposed to have an arch support like where they put more cushion there. I do feel it, believe it or not. It's like a, a thing that goes around, that, like fills in that area. I have a high arch, so for that reason I feel it. If you don't have a high arch, <laughs> might not even care, but um, I'll link them because they're a super good price and socks are expensive for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> right? Anyways, I'm trying to find perfect shorts for you guys, but you know, I, have, I keep ending, ending up returning them. These were almost perfect. They felt uh, perfect. And they looked to my eye <laughs> before I walked around and they felt amazing and the length was amazing. Um, and then he's like, can I have your phone for a second? Let me record you. Oh my God, they were so see-through. I'm like, I almost this found is, This is what happened. One. This is what happened. What? We'll see if you share it. Oh my God, I don't know if you should share that. That's like, <laughs> I can't even believe my naked eyes didn't catch it Yeah, you, you thought You're that. You're like, I see everything. I'm like, what? The further you move. The further you walk away from me, I was like, yep, I see more, I and, see and more. And I even had the blacks on, like, after yeah. that, and then I tried the whites, that was just comical. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no. I'm trying to look for them cotton, comfortable summer shorts, you know? Now I think we can go. Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to wait here. Yeah. With that memory that you have, I'll just wait here. <laughs> uh, All right, let's go up there. Yeah, yeah, we're done. All we're right. done now. So your plan, snake plan game is going on. <laughs> I know, and those are the ones that I repotted and they're doing amazing. Um, I just threw a ball yesterday, a uh, volleyball. Mm. Trying to get it into her room, that one specifically. You always fail, I don't it know. It landed right on my snake plant. I died, I was like, why? I was like, man, I think that hurt you more than it hurt me. <laughs> And this one was all the way down, but then I brought it back up and it just kind of... I don't know why you tried to do that. She she got that from you for sure. Bad aim? Yes. Horrible aim. I'm working on my skills. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I get the little balls in. Yeah, like, right. Like, most of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, so something really quick in here. We're going to spend a lot of time in here. Sports for us. Uh, for me, it's comfort, and I really love spaghetti strap sports bras. Okay. Yeah. I look better than this. <laughs> really, the light hits you better. Um, spaghetti strap sports bras, I do not like thick straps. I've, I always have this thing where when I'm working out, if my belly is covered, as strange as that sounds, and I'm wearing too much, like I feel like it's heavy on top, I start to feel like I can't breathe. Um, so the more dainty the top is, like with the straps, the better I feel. Anyways, I think it's Fruit of the Loom or something. Um, and I just bought one set just to see how it is and then I loved it and then I bought like three sets because they come in three packs um, just to get different colors. I have it like neon orange, but I wore that one. I have one with triangles, but I wore that one. Yeah, but I have a lot. They work perfect under clothes as a sports bra just chilling, lounging around. Um, and that's the reason I like it. They are full cotton. Um, 
So no, none of that weird, like I really don't like workout clothes that are super um, like plasticky. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Like that's why when I did my line, my apparel, I wanted the clothes to feel similar to like cotton where, I don't know, my, my, my clothes are badass. <laughs> Those I can wear. It, it replaces your like, bras. Uh, huh? It replaces your bras. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so that's that. These are the ones I used to wear, but they have like absolutely no support in them whatsoever. And I kind of do a thing where I just like fling them. <laughs> I'll be walking up the stairs. I end up with just one left. I'm like, I'm not going back down there. I was like, one one slipper it is. Um, but yeah, those were like super cheap. But they lasted. They lasted. And these are a little tighter. So they stay put and I don't kick them off or anything. We should ask, do they miss your closet? You miss my closet? I need to give it some love. Does it look like it on camera? Mm. Don't show. <laughs> I didn't say look around. <laughs> Anyways, my plants get... Well, this one yeah, not so no. much. <laughs> that one not so much. In my defense, ever since I moved it here, apparently I didn't like the sun. Um, anyways, moving on to the bathroom. Alright, so the thing you guys have been waiting for, which I don't currently have on at the moment, um, it's this amazing new tanner. So this is the tanner I was telling you guys about Tanologist. I like it because it was not um, transferring to my clothes, which is huge for me. The smell was good, the application was fast, um, and yeah, it did it. It was dark, it did what I had to do. Uh, but the reason I switched from the other one was because this one didn't have an instant tan, which meant my bed stayed clean. I couldn't find that one during quarantine. Apparently everybody wants to be tan during quarantine. They, they listen <laughs> um, to your... Yeah, so I couldn't get a hold of that one, and I was like, well... Alta is showing me this extra dark one, and I was so freaked out because I'm like, extra dark? I mean, that one's dark enough, what the hell? But, um, yeah, I was going to do a photo shoot, so I'm like, I just got to get it. Let's get it in. Um, I love it, and I will not go back to this one. Here's why. This one, yes, it is much darker, but you get to wash it off right away. You know how like most tanners you gotta keep on for like eight hours or longer and you can't sweat, you can't anything because then you're gonna be blotchy and weird? This is a one hour tan, meaning you can wash it off one hour after you've applied it. That goes even better for people who absolutely hate the smell of tanner. I'm one of them, <laughs> so I get to wash it off in an hour. The longer you keep it on, the more, the darker you'll be. But after four hours, it's not gonna be active, like nothing will happen. I washed it off in two and a half hours and I was super dark and I washed it off in one hour and I was pretty dark. I would say kind of like the dark that this gave me um, and it continues to develop so don't freak out like you'll wash it there it, there's an instant color and I thought I would never go back to instant color but the fact that I can wash it off like in an hour or two I could just wear black clothes and then wash it off and not be in bed you know um, but because of the fast wash off that's what makes me happy because Tanner is sticky, guys. Anyone who's ever used Tanner knows this shit is sticky until you wash yourself. Lila doesn't so imagine touch you. eight freaking hours of stickiness. <sighs> Lila doesn't touch you like, for an hour. She uh, Tanner. For an hour. She says Tanner too, because I'm like, I tell her, because I'm nice, I'm like, I got Tanner on, I'm sticky, I don't even want to touch myself, <laughs> you know, so she doesn't like it, but she likes that it gets washed that one off and everything goes back to normal. Anyways, they also have drops. Now, you can use this all over your body, but I like it for my face and specifically for summer because I do tan and summer very nice. I get a very nice tan, but my face and chest always ends up being lighter than the rest of my body. So if I want to even that out, you have a little dropper. And what's nice, you can add it to any moisturizer you want. Uh, those are the drops. And the more drops, the darker, the less drops, the lighter. So I thought that was pretty awesome, you know? Like say you just want to tan your legs or something. You can add this to like whatever lotion you like that smells amazing, you know? Add it to this one, you smell like this instead of what this smells like or anything you like. For people who have very sensitive noses, noses, yeah, you'll like that. So anyways, I do love that. I'm happy I came across that. Being able to wash off a nasty, sticky smell is amazing. Um, and not that it smells nasty. I just don't like it. He likes it. He's like, I like how you smell. Lila likes, likes <laughs> it too. Lila, Lila likes. likes how it smells too. I don't at all. I think because I 
smell it more because it's on me. And you just smell yeah. it kind of like a... Oh. You always have been crazy about that. Not yet. I hate the way it smells. Uh, yeah? That was life. I'm upstairs. Where are you? Um, okay. So, I wanted to tap into beauty. Okay, so I'm bored in quarantine. I'm like super bored in quarantine. Like stupidly super, super bored in quarantine. So I do, I do masks. I even have a foot mask. Uh, it's from K Bella. I think I've showed you guys before, but I only showed you guys the pore minimizer, which I do still absolutely love. Um, I think I'm running out. Yeah, I only have one that's already open. Pore minimizing. Super good if you have problem skin, acne, or anything. Um, but then they have a couple of peels that I love. It's just, it's so pampering. And I feel like my skin is like thanking me completely lately that I've been pampering it so much. Thanks, quarantine. That's the only good that came out of you. <laughs> um, but another thing that I tapped into was trying to find a new skincare line because the one I shared with you guys, I still love, don't get me wrong, but they clearance stood out and... Now I can only find some of their products on Amazon, which are stupidly priced, like $60 for a moisturizer that I was paying like 18 bucks for. So I'm like, no, no. Um, anyways, I decided to try the Honest Company. Um, and I love it. So I've tried three things from them. I have this Prime Perfect mask. It's fast. And it's nice and it primes your skin just as it says right before makeup. So I can I can put it on for five minutes, wash it off, put my makeup on. And what it does is it hydrates your skin. It gives it a nice glowy hue so you're kind of like naturally highlighted. All the areas that would naturally get highlighted. Um, so if you have dry skin or if you live in a dry climate, this would be amazing for you. Maybe during summer I'll use it less often but during winter or if your skin naturally is dry, holy shit, you wanna use it. It looks amazing. I don't get to do it every single time before my makeup because I got shit I gotta do. Sometimes it's like chop chop, barely spend any time on my face. Um, Beauty Sleep Resurfacing Serum. It has glycolic acid in it. It pretty much, like it resurfaces your skin. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is like it, you know how like glycolic acid like peels layers off your skin, uh, showing, you know, renewed, fresh skin. Um, this does it more slow, you know, so it's not aggressive. It's not something you have to worry about your skin peeling or anything. Um, and you, I only do it at night because if you do it during the day, you need a lot of um, SPF because this will intensify in the sun. So I am trying this. I do like it. I do feel a difference. My skin does feel smoother. I don't know if you notice anything in my skin yeah, or if better. I just pay attention to it more. And then this Hydro Gel Cream, which I use every day. Um, it's so weird because when you take some in your hand, like it just feels like normal um, lotion. But the minute you start to like move your hands, it releases like water. They said it when it was being advertised, but I was like, that's probably bullshit. I don't ever believe anything. But it literally like it just, I don't know, it's like beads are bursting that you don't even feel and it gets like really wet so a little goes a long way because the first time I was like so much so much I don't know what to do with it all. Uh, I do love everything and I would rebuy and continue using until either my skin says I need something new or they I don't know get discontinued. I do like it that much. I think that's it. Just reach before I say bye and then come back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So everything I've been loving during quarantine. I hope you guys love it too. I hope some of it was useful to you guys. Slippers. Girls always love slippers. Guys, just buy your girl slippers. <laughs> that would make me happy. You're like, don't you have enough slippers? I'm like, who has enough slippers? <laughs> no. They're super cute. Anyways, we're going to end it here. It's been a while. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We are going to try getting back into the groove of recording and, and showing you guys more stuff and doing more of what we used to do, not just Monday recipes um, and home workouts. I'm hoping y'all get to go to the gym soon and I can get back in my gym. I felt so guilty working out in my gym and recording it to you all because it's like you guys don't have it and I feel like I'm shoving it in your face. That is why I didn't. I only showed one workout in the gym during quarantine and that was early quarantine. 
And then I didn't show you guys that at all because I didn't want to feel like that person that's shoving it in your face because you don't have it. And it's like, oh, look at me. I'm the Smith machine. Ha ha, you don't have it. You know, even if you didn't feel that way, I would have felt that way. That's why we kind of avoided doing that. And I only recorded workouts that were like home version friendly and stuff. Um, but I think we're going to get back on that now that some gyms are opening. Some states are opening. I'm so hot. Are you hot? No. <sighs> okay. It does help when they comment more. It does. It does help when you comment. It motivates me. lets me know you guys are enjoying the content videos. Um, you guys stop commenting on the food videos. Because I, I, I feel you. I always say that they're boring. And you guys always say keep doing it. But then mm. you guys don't comment. So I'm like, it is boring. <laughs> we stop because well, we comment. lack of motivation. I just stop commenting. We just, you know, through time it's like, eh, you don't care. I don't care. Let's not care together. So if you guys care, comment yeah. below. Anyways, we're going to end it here. If you guys love it, hashtag love it, comment below. I will most likely respond to your comment early on and then it might start getting like delayed responses because like I said, I got a child. So sometimes I'll decide to comment back and then she's like, mommy. Clients. And then clients, yeah. So anyways, we will end it here. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to be subscribed. Hit the little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time we post a video. And until next time, bye guys. Oh, I was going to say why I didn't have that on. Okay, you can still say it. Oh, you didn't stop. You always stop, <laughs> like, abruptly. Babe, you should know my cues. Oh, the reason I don't have it on is because I'm letting it... Wash off. Wash off, completely. You know, I want to make sure there's nothing left over in the started. spots. Because I had my two spots here all freaking winter because of my hip thrusting and then it gets a little dry patch and then I put that on and then it just like sticks there it's like two dark patches and I just finally got those off and you're stopping because we have 84 80 degrees weather yeah so, you're so I got to that. tan out so I'm like I might not need to use it that much in case I, unless I really want to get like super dark or something a day before for a photo shoot yeah like the day before a photo shoot or something but holy shit I'm hot how are you not hot? But I feel sweat trickling down my back. I ain't even kidding you. <laughs> um, right. So that's why I stopped using it. Anyways, bye. Right. Later. <laughs> oh my god.